Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Facebook. Amen. I'm Pastor James Funches. Amen. I'm the pastor of Blessed Hope Tabernacle, and I'm here in my home. Amen. Just want to share a word with you today. Amen. Thank God for my brother in arms. Amen. Pastor Dan. Amen. From Framingham. Amen. Out there where the ministry is going for. We have we have such um, dynamic word for you today. I mean, I believe God. You know, when I I, I keep hearing is um, work wise yet day. Because soon done cometh and no man worketh. I, I worked three to seven this morning. I haven't slept. I've been um, handling business, washing clothes, doing those normal things that we must do. But I've been pressing. Amen. And, and my brother got here and he was ready. You know, I, I kind of felt, I thought my brother would probably call and say, oh, well, it's going to be shut off. But my brother, he said, I'm here. So we, we're going to praise God today. We want you to get online with us. We want you to praise God with us. We want you to shout back at us. Amen. We want you to say, hey, listen, I'm going to tell you something. While everybody else is worried about COVID-19, you ought to worry about Jesus, amen? You ought to tell them, worry about Jesus, amen? Because let me tell you something. Jesus put things in perspective. We are home with our families. Jesus put things in perspective. Some of you have overworked yourself, and now you're, you you got a little layoff. Jesus put stuff in perspective. Then some of you even got that little stimulus money that helped you. Jesus put things in perspective. You ought to give God praise right now. If you got your family, you ought to tell your family, get Come on, sit down with us, sit in with us, praise God with us. The Bible said when the twos and threes are gathered in my name, then I'm also in the midst. Today I came to praise him, amen. Songwriter said, I feel like praising him, amen. I feel like, oh, my God, my God, my God. When you think of the goodness of God and all that he's done for you, my very soul cries out hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. My my grandchildren are here, and they're going to praise God with me. My daughter's here, and maybe I can get her, and she's going to shout out to y'all and talk to some of y'all young people and some of the people that know her, amen. My daughter, a lot of times, I sit back. I can listen to her, and man, do she spark off of wisdom, amen, she tell me, dad, I put this on Facebook, I want people to be aware of this, I want them to be aware of this, she told me about the, um, the bank scam thing, with they putting the, the, the thing on the thing so they can get your information, so when I went to the bank, and I got my, I shook the thing, because <laughs> my daughter had implanted that in my spirit, amen, I'll tell you what, God's gonna do something great, we hope to plant something in your spirit today, we hope to plant something in your heart amen i want you to grab somebody tell somebody you love them get on the phone and let somebody know that jesus is on the line it's just like when we used to do focus on christ we used to say god bless because we're here and we're here because we're focusing on christ today we're not worried about what's not going on we're not worried about what's happening in the world what we're doing is worrying about what god has for us he says if you're gonna worry don't pray and if you're gonna pray don't worry i came to pray today and not worry amen so i'm gonna pray and then my grandchildren are gonna come out and and, and dance for you and then my daughter's going to come out and talk to you whatever's in her heart amen and then I'm going to give you a little word and I'm going to talk back with you and I hope that you get on the line talk back with me amen get on Facebook let me know that you're there let me know that you're you're, you're watching that you're streaming amen it's not about, you know, some. it's so good that we can just be comfortable, amen? We can just be who we are, amen? So today, I want you to be who you are, amen? Get on Facebook and hit us up, amen? Text us. Let us know that you're there. Come on now. Um, give us an amen. Give us a hallelujah. Give us a comment. Let us know that you're watching and that you're ready to do what God says. I'm hoping that the Spirit of God would move today, right? Right now in this place. I, I can feel him moving right now, amen? So I, I'm just going to... I'm just going to just bring my grandchildren. They're going to come in, and they're going to dance for you. Amen. And then we'll get back, and we'll talk to you. Amen. And we'll take the time to minister to you. Amen. And you can minister to us. Amen. You know, it goes two ways. Amen. So while we're ministering, if you something's on your heart, you can say, man, um, I need you to pray for this. Man, if you hit you hit that page. Um, Pastor will let me know, and we'll pray for that situation. We'll pray for that circumstance, whatever it is. We pray for families that have lost somebody who are going through funerals, amen. I pray for the Agnew family, amen, um, in the passing 
of Brown Agnew, my, uh, my Uncle Brown, amen. Everybody knew Uncle Brown. Uncle Brown was one of the best mechanics in town, amen. If you knew, if you needed your car fixed, Uncle Brown could do it, amen. So and, and my heart was overwhelmed. My cousin sent me a picture as they put their dad in that crib, amen. So I know that God's doing great things. Things are still going on. While we're worried about this one situation, there are many things going on. There are, I mean, come on. Let's start praising God. Let's get back to where God's called us. Let's get back to doing what he said to do. Ain't that right, Pastor? Come on now. Come on now. That's what time Amen. Is. Come on, Pastor. That's the way to do it. Come on now. All right. Come on. Come on now, Pastor. Oh. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus. Come on well, now. Come on. Well, just as the brother has said, this is not a time for the weak-minded. This is not a time for the, weak, the faint of heart. This is the time for us to call on our Lord Jesus. He said, if my people who are called by my name come will on. humble themselves, seek my face come and on. pray, turn from their wicked, wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will hear their land. Come on. Uh, don't, don't, don't be fooled by none of this nonsense. Just do what you know to do. Hit them knees. Come on. And th I'm Pastor Dan Walker from New Bethel Baptist <laughs> Church, and this is Gospel Time Live Part 2. We are down here in... Blackstone. We're down here in Blackstone. We've gone back to the old-time way. We've set up in the living room of Pastor James Funches. Come on. His grandkids are going to come out and, 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 and dance for it. I want to say to Facebook, and I, I don't own any of these songs. It's come just the background. There's no copyright infringement. We're just playing it so people can minister. Come on. Um, and then after the, the children dance, then pastor, somebody will come out and do something. Like I say, we're just old timing it here. That's right. Having church in the living room. Hey. Like we used to do come back in now. the day. Don't, don't get me started now. <laughs> well, that's the whole point. Uh, <laughs> that's the whole point. Come on now. All right. So without any further ado, Pastor James Funches and crew. Amen, amen. My grandchildren are going to make their way out here, amen. Come on, amen. Gratefulness, come on now. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. See my grandkids, amen. They here, amen. And they're going to do what they do best, amen. Come on, with, with good spirits, amen. Say amen. amen. With good spirits, amen. Come no on now. Don't make Papa have to kick you out of the house. <laughs> We're good spirits, amen. So, hallelujah, we, we get ready to, they get ready to show you what they could do. You get on the page. You tell somebody else to get on the page. Say, Pastor Funches is there. He getting off and his grandchildren getting off. And, and we just going to praise God like never before. In Jesus' name, I'll be back. I'll be back. Truly understand what people may say. They believe to think how we think is far from okay. But I believe it's never okay to abandon your dreams. And it just so happens that our dream is to lift up a holy king. See, this is my life, my choice, and I choose to lift up my hand. Cause we go hard 
shackles and being set free. See, I may look like money, but you don't know what I've been through. And I'm still going through some of it, so dancing is something that I gotta do. See, Jesus was the only one that saved my soul. He took a chance on this broken hearted man, grabbed my hand, and he made me whole. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They make me want to dance. Go hard in the place. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Hard in the place. Amen. Hard in the place. Amen. I don't know about you. Amen. I want my daughter to come out here and talk to me about My daughter taught him that. Amen. And um, when when I, I heard the song, I said to my daughter, I said, I, I need them to dance on this song. Amen. My daughter would dance with the dance ministry. Amen. And I, I just really, really had to have her teach them that. Amen. So, um, Margaret, come on over here. Amen. We at home. Amen. We comfortable. Amen. We, we comfortable, Margaret. Amen. This is my daughter, Margaret. Amen. Margaret, what was going on? You know what I mean? How did you feel when you taught him that dance? What went through your mind when your dad gave you that song? <laughs> like, oh, dad's crazy again. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, I when I heard it, I thought it was, okay, this is a dope song. Um, I can definitely teach the kids it. So, yeah, because I did choreography, of course, you know for um, our other group when we used to dance. So it's just good to teach the kids. You know, they got a little bit of dancing in them, so might as well put it to good use. Okay. So how's things been going as a parent stuck in the house? Uh, uh, going crazy, but God is great. Come on now. He keeps me, so. That's so these good. are the things we're talking about. Have you figured out, you know, what's some of the little things that you do that help you through the day? You know, that might be able to help someone else, you mm -hmm. know? As far as the parenting status, uh, the, the thing that I've noticed being in the house with the kids is how wonderful we have good, how great, how blessed we are when we get to go to work and our kids go to school. 
because we do have some great teachers out there who are able and capable of dealing with our kids, mm -hmm. especially kids that, you know, have certain type of things, you know, like hypertension, mm -hmm. you know, all that type of good, um, you know, autistic, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So even with KJ, my youngest, he is hypertension and he's, you know, he doesn't sit down. So I notice now that being in the house, what the teachers always say and why he has all the help at the school and how great they are as far as teachers. And I want people to understand, this is to God be the glory. And I wanted to say this, and I want to ask you this, is because a lot of times we've gotten into the concept of getting away from the help. You know, like even it takes the village to raise a child. Mm -hmm. The child, and you know, we a place where you don't believe what nobody say about you. Right. And if someone says something you don't like, parents go up to the school now and want to scrap. Y'all oh, come on now. Get with me now. They want to take off the roof, put on the grease, and throw down. <laughs> come on now. I mean, the new is yeah. not, you know, it, what happened to when we used to pray before we did something? Or, right. or we, you know, let's pray about this, amen? And you know something? What happened with saying, telling the truth and saying, wait a minute, you said my, that probably was my child, yeah. amen? And But I think a lot of that, too, is not um, foolish knowledge. I think it's really understandable unknowledge. I think that parents have a lost grip of who their children really are because mm -hmm. there's been so much time away. Right. So COVID has brought them back home. Mm -hmm. You got to get home. It's mandatory. Mm -hmm. You can't be out on a certain time. Right. So what do parents do now? You know, I like some parents to hit us up and ask, what are you doing now? Right. You know you can't take it in the house with them. Amen. You really found what Hooli Pooli was like. Amen. Come on now. What are Amen. you doing to stay sane? It's, <laughs> it, are you still holding up the character of God? Are you still, you know, now your children see if it's God or it's you, it's you getting funky now. Or it's you telling you, come on now. It ain't what, you know, you shouting in church on Sunday, but now on Monday in the house when you stuck with them, there ain't no shouting. There ain't, there ain't no praying. There ain't no fasting. And now you you wonder why you're in the situation and the circumstance you have. Come on, Mark. You don't say it at all. Yeah, but, but I, I, I'm saying it, but I, I, I want to hear a young mother's perspective. You know, we've gotten this time to talk, amen, and while we got this time to talk, I want to talk to some people. I want to give God the glory because I want to read some scripture, but I want to let them know that be, let's be for real. Yeah. Man, let's stop playing this fake game and having situations where all the young people now think we fake because we, we say one thing and we do another. Right. Amen. Yeah. Well, I say thank God for family because I'm telling you, um, come on. Now. Some of us will go crazy, especially dealing with the kids in the house. So parents, you know, I give you I always say I tip my hat to the parents who are there for their kids and, you know, just do everything they have to do for their kids because it's hard, especially when you're by it. Sometimes like a single parent, mm -hmm. it's definitely hard. So that's the struggle that I go through sometimes. But I'm grateful for you guys. I'm grateful for my family who steps in when I do want to get a breather. And, you know, I could drop them off or whatever the case may be and just walk out for like a good couple hours or so. So, you know, I'm grateful. I'm thankful. So it's not easy. But parents, keep your head up is what I say. Um, pray constantly because that's what I have to do. Um, uh, some days I want to wring their necks. Uh, it's a struggle just to do homework with them. So that's why I keep saying um, I'm grateful for my kids' teachers. Whenever they ask for stuff, like after this is over, they ask for those extra paper towels. I'm going to buy the extra paper towel <laughs> because uh, I appreciate them. And, you know, kids raising kids ain't easy. So well, a lot of us miss that. Take, uh, it, it takes a village. Like you said, nowadays, People don't want you saying nothing to their kids, no nothing, or it becomes a fight. So, you know, to each his own. But that's that's the deep part about it. The deep part about it is that, and I'm talking to some people who really 
know what we're talking about, who have been caught behind the lines where they found out they don't like people saying stuff to their children, they don't like how things are going, but now they're caught in the house with those same children that they wouldn't let anybody else talk to. Mm -hmm. Come on now, dig this. You wouldn't let nobody else talk to them, let nobody else discipline them, and you didn't discipline them either. Right. You know what I'm saying? The Bible says, spare not the rod or spoil the child. Yeah. But we've gotten to the place where the government has said, wait a minute, don't touch your child, don't say nothing to your child. Amen. You put little, little Pootie in the corner for 10 minutes and he wondering how he going to get you when he get out that corner. Right. Come on now. Amen. When I grew up, they tore your butt up. Amen. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, you, you hear what I'm saying? And we knew it. Amen. But you know something? I think that it, it made some of us survive. Yeah. It made some of us live. Amen. Come on now. If God says, wait a minute, you know, there's the scripture in the Bible where David's asked, do you want the chastisement of the Lord or do you want to me the subject to be put under the hand of, of your enemy? Amen. Mm -hmm. And and David says that, you know, God, whatever you choose. Amen. Because he, he knew that if he didn't get God then, he didn't get the chastisement then, mm -hmm. he was going to get it later. Right. Amen. You you go and get it later. You go and get it, but you know something. It's up to you when you get it. Right. If God said, "Wait a minute, this this is the day that He chose," then we need to rejoice. We got a lot going on, mm -hmm. and people are dying. And um, I was listening to the report on Rhode Island and COVID, and they were saying most of the people that died are up in age, right. and and they're like um seventies and. 65s and 80s, and one person was 100. Mm. And they're in nursing homes. You know something? But how does that make some of these people feel who put their people in nursing homes and didn't visit them? Right. Didn't go see them. Mm -hmm. Didn't call them. Come on now. Right. Amen? Just, see, it, was, it used to be a cycle, Margaret, where I, I raised you, brought you up, put you in diapers, put you in school, rotated around, I got old, you put me in diapers and put me out of here. Right. No, honestly. Mm. But now people don't understand that. Right. They don't believe that. Amen? Mm -hmm. Your children have nothing to do with you. Right. Amen? Your children have nothing to do with you. What do you think about that? It's sad because um, I've been to that point with my grandmother as well. She was in a nursing home. And I visited her every day. Yeah, you did. And um, a lot of people who died in that, I, I met a lot of people who died from loneliness because their family wasn't coming to see them. So it was like a few, select few of us who will go up there to either see our grandmothers and one lady who came up there and seen her mother and she was a nurse after she got off work. She was always up there caring for her moms. And I was up there with my grandmother just from whenever I got out of school got there. I wouldn't make it till breakfast, but I would be there until they put them right in the bed and it's nighttime and then I do it all over again. So, you know, it's the, that's the loneliest time for them. So I say to people, please, if your parents is there, you know, um, or grandparents appreciate them now, go see them. I know COVID's out here right now, but, um, if they make it, just go out and see them because loneliness and, um, a broken heart, kills a lot of them in the um, nursing home, from what I was told. Come on now. So. I believe it. I remember going up there. We were singing to your grandmother. She loved it. Every bit of it. Amen. Yeah. We went up there and we sang. We sang songs. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yep. Come on now. She loved every bit of it. She hated that she couldn't go to church yeah. up in there. She was like, it's because they do Catholic. I guess they were Catholic in yeah, there. Yeah, they were. So, um, but she just talked about every day. That's how she wanted to get out of there and. You know, we just have plans on her getting out of there. Come on. Walking now. out. So, you know, she said she lived a good life. That's what she said. She was in her 80s. She was like, I lived a good life. I seen a lot. And, you know, you guys got to go on with your life. But she used to say, thank God I'm still alive. Every I've day. had some good days. I've had some Hills to climb. That's what I believe she was saying. Yeah. I've had some weary days and some sleepless nights. But when I look around and I think things over, all of my good days, I weigh all my bad days. 
won't complain. Sometimes the clouds seem low. I can hardly see the road. I ask the question, Lord, why so much pain? Why so much pain? But the Lord knows what's best for me. So I just say, thank you, Lord. I won't complain. I won't complain. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, amen, amen, amen. Uh, I, I got a little song, amen. Um, I want to I I see if I can, can, can do something right quick, amen. I, I know you, I, you, you don't like this, <laughs> amen. And this, this belongs to me. Amen. One of my last ones. A little bit of play. Won't you? Need you? You're worthy, oh God. Won't you? I need you. I love you. My God, he's, 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 he's <laughs> pastor said, man, what happened? What, what, what happened? I'll tell you what happened. Uh, you're my soul. You're everything, everything I know. I love you. You're the Say that again. You're my heart. You're my soul. You're everything that I know. To the going down of the same, I love you. You're worthy, oh God. Worthy, oh God. Say it. I'm rising of the sun. To the going down of the same, I love you. You're worthy, oh God. Worthy, oh God. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, I love you. I love you. You're worthy, you're worthy, oh, worthy, oh, God. I love you, need you, gotta have you. Woo! I love you, you're worthy, oh, worthy, oh, God. Say this. I love you, need you, gotta have you. Do, do, do. I love you, you're worthy, oh, God. Love you, love you. I love you. Need you, gotta have you. That's how I am. And I'm, I, I, I tell you what, everybody knows when it comes to you know, when it comes to your, your dad will move and I'm writing, I will just go with it. And when I wrote that song, you're worthy, oh God. Love you, need you, gotta have you. Yo, you're worthy, oh God. Amen. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. I love you. You're worthy, oh God. Need you. Love you. Gotta have you. Woo! Hey, I love you. You're worthy, oh, worthy. You will rap. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Marvin, just pray. Just pray before you move out of the okay. way. Amen. Just pray for all the young people and all the people that's watching. Go ahead. Okay. 
Lord, Father God, I come to you right now. Oh God, just praying that you forgive me, give, forgive us of any and everything that's not of you, oh God. Oh God, we thank you, oh God, for yet seeing another day, oh God. Oh God, we thank you for surviving to see another day from this COVID-19, oh Lord Jesus, and from the 5G radiation that they're starting to do as well, Lord God, that's hidden under the table, oh God, but you see fit for it to come to clarity. So God, I just thank you right now. I pray for each and every family out there, everybody that we know, Facebook friends, Facebook family members, yes, everybody out there in the world, oh God, I pray that you touch each and every one of them. People who lost people, oh God, I pray that you um, give them a touch of comfort, Lord Jesus, for some of us know how they feel, some of us don't know how they're feeling, oh God. So God, I just thank you, oh God. I also thank you for these um non these essential workers that's out here yes, still sir. working oh lord jesus yes, sir. oh god we pray for a mighty protection over their organs and their bodies oh yes, god sir. that they do not catch this rampant man-made disease oh yes, lord sir. god so god we just come to you thanking you and praising you oh god, you go. in the midst of everything oh god god we stand for you oh lord jesus and we come to say we're not scared because we know we have you oh god you are almighty and all wonderful and all powerful oh god so there's nothing that can that you can't stop oh lord jesus so god we just come to you just saying thank you oh god thank you if we had trillions of tongues it still wouldn't be enough to say thank you oh god so god i just thank you for myself oh god for loving on me when i'm not lovable oh god oh god i just thank you for my bipolarness sometimes oh lord jesus so i thank you oh god right now yes so and i give you honor glory praise oh god you're number one you're king of king and lord of lords oh god and there's nobody like you. There's nobody before you, oh God. So we just say thank you, oh God. And we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Margaret. Amen. 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 Though the storms of life keep raging in my heart, and sometimes it's hard to tell the night from the day. Though the hope that lies within us is reassured, as I keep my eyes upon the distant shore, I know he'll lead me safely to that blessed place he has prepared. But if the storm don't cease And just in case the wind keeps on blowing in my life My soul has been anchored in the Lord Amen Pray that for Sister Maddie, losing her grandmother, amen, and all people who have lost somebody. Anchor your soul in the Lord, amen. Buckle up in God, amen. Know that God's got a greater plan for your life, amen. Don't worry about what's going on, amen. Look to the hills which come with my help. My help coming from the Lord, which make heaven and earth. God's got a better plan, greater plan. God's watching over you, amen. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil for thou are with me. Thy rod and thy staff cover me. Thou prepares the table in the presence of my enemy. Thou anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This is the word of the Lord. We thank God for being here today. We thank God for the time. We pray for you, amen. We pray for um, the, the world. We pray for the state. We pray for the president. We pray for vice president. We pray for my Congress, mayors, governors. God, we pray for especially everybody who's working a little job that nobody really pays attention to. We pray for the sh the sh stopping shops and the, and the, and the BJs and Stores that people got to go to, God. We pray for them. We pray for Amazon, God. Those workers that are in there. Yeah, the commercials look good. Amen. But what the people don't get is not what we, they should get. But we pray for them too. Amen. We pray for the, for the higher ups that are making all the money and the little ups that are pressing towards the mark of the high column of Jesus Christ Jesus. I'm Pastor James Funches. 
of Blessed Hope Tabernacle in South Boston. Amen. Our service are normally at 1 to 3, amen, at Sunday schools at 12, 1245, amen. But you know something? At 2 o'clock, we'll be on Facebook Live. Tell your people to tune in, amen. Tune in and hear what thus said the Lord, amen. Is there a word from on high? Yes, there is, amen. The Bible says, be not weary in well-doing. I might have done a whole lot today, but it's still not worth all that God has done for me. Amen. It's still not worth all that God has done for me. Amen. He is a good God. He's an awesome God. He's a mighty God. I don't know who you are, but I want to just pray for you. Amen. Amen. Just pray for you. Father God in heaven, Lord, I pray for those who are tuned in today, God. I pray for those that need a prayer. I pray for those in broken marriages, broken situations, broken hearts, broken lives. I pray for them today, God, that you would move in their lives, move in their hearts, God. God, that you would open up doors, God. I pray from here to California, God. I pray for my cousin in California. Hallelujah. My, oh God, who do you key on myself? That minister and his wife, God. I thank God for my wife's cousins who are my cousins, God. I pray for them in California. I pray for them around. I pray for my cousins all over the world, God, in Chicago and Tennessee. And God, I pray for them right now, God. I pray for the ones in Boston, God. I pray for family members I don't know and I hope to know. I pray for this church. I pray for Pastor Dan's church. I pray for every church in the world, God. God, that you might get the glory. And God, when this is over, there be not enough room in them little churches. There won't be an uh, empty seat. Because God, somebody going to have gotten you. God, in Venezuela, they said 7,000 got saved. God, we're going to hear the same thing in Boston, Massachusetts. God, because you have done a great work. This is the day that you have made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it because there's nobody like you. We thank you. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search through all eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There is none like you. Thank you, Lord. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search for all eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. Hallelujah, there's nobody like him. There's nobody like him. I search all over the world. Amen. He saved the wretch like me. He'll save you. Amen. If you need in need of the Lord and you don't know the Lord as your Savior, and you, you can just raise your hand right now and say, it's me, Lord. It's me, Lord, in need of a prayer. I'm a sinner. who, And I acknowledge, God, that you have, have died on the cross for me. I acknowledge that you are the Christ, and I acknowledge that you can save me. Hallelujah, Jesus. God is a good God. He's a worthy God. And God, I, have not a spirit of fear, folk. Have not a spirit of fear. Begin to raise the banner up and let them know that God is a good God. Amen. When I walk in Amazon, there's some other saints in there. We know each other. Sometimes you can work someplace and nobody knows because you won't expose. This woman said to me, said, you wear shirts like that? She said, I didn't think we could wear that. I said, I know who I belong to. So I'll wear a shirt like that. Amen. I'll wear a shirt that says Jesus is my Savior. I'll wear a shirt saying he's all that. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I serve an awesome God. I pray for every family out there, the Crump family, dealing with the loss of um, Sister Lisa's son, Donnell. I pray for you today. I pray for Rosemarie today, that God would strengthen you. I pray for Mother Benson. And man, I could name, name them all. I could keep on naming them. But I just want you to know that if you who are watching, I pray for you. I pray that you have a better day. I pray that better days are coming. I pray that you get ready. So if a storm comes, know that better days are coming. Amen. Know that better days are coming. When Pastor Dan came from Framingham to Blackstone, he knew that better days was coming. Better days are on the way. My God, my God, if, if you only knew. Hallelujah, Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Say the name. Y'all say the name with me. Oh, Jesus, say the name. So who precious, say the name. Oh, Jesus. Come on, say it with me. There's no other name I know who can calm my fears and move my tears and chase all my pain away. When there's no other name I know, when there's no other place to go, I say the name. When you're in despair, say his name. When you're going through, the Bible says, if you submit yourself to God, the, de the, de the demon, the devil shall flee. Amen. So submit yourself today, amen. Let God know. Amen. I'm praying for broken marriages today. Father God in heaven, heal those marriages right now, God. God, heal those that are in situation and strife, God. God, I'm praying for young people who are disturbed and feel like suicide. God, I praise them right now, God, that you will heal their minds, God, that you would work it out, God, for you're able to do anything that failed, God. I pray for single mothers today. Father God in heaven, Lord, I ask that you touch these single mothers in the place where they're at with no fathers, God pulling the weight by themselves, touching God. I pray for fathers who have been lost and incarcerated. Father God in heaven, Lord, I ask that you touch those who are incarcerated right now, God, that you give them strength, God, and let them know that the bars do not hold them in captive, God, but you will free them like you did Peter. God, I, I pray for those in leadership right now. Father God in heaven, Lord, I pray for every leader, God, who's, who's leading anyone, God, whether it be one or whether it be 22 one or whether it be 2,000, God. I pray for them right now, God. Every leader, God. I pray for every minister. Father God in heaven, Lord, I ask that you touch every minister that declares the name of Jesus, God, and that you move into their lives like never before. I pray for every deacon and deaconess. Father God in heaven, Lord, move on them right now, God. Give the God who on my side that you move, God. I pray for every missionary. God, whether he be male or female, God, touch those missionaries who go all over the world. God, into places that they never thought they would go, God. Move like never before, God. I pray for every musician, God, who you've called, God, and given a gift, God. God, that they would give it back to you, God. God, that they would give their gift back to you, God. I pray that musicians will go into the churches, God, and God, not go looking for fame or fortune, but go looking for you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Father God in heaven, I pray for every musician, God, that's been entangled, God, by finances and don't know what he's doing, God, and been caught up in situations and circumstances, God, send them back to you, God. Send them back running to you, God. Send them back knowing, God, that you're able to do anything but fail, God. Remember the days when they did it for the love of you and not for the love of money. God, I pray for them right now, God. I pray for everybody right now who feel like they are overwhelmed, trapped, and burdened. God, I pray right now, God, you will go into every household, God, that you will strengthen every, every father today, God. God, every man of God that has to get up and go work, God, to make sure he can do what he is called to do, God. God, and I thank you, God, for allowing me to do that same thing, God, for putting me in a position to work, God, to make sure that my wife did not have to hold all the burden, that she did not have to carry all the weight, God. So and I thank you for that, God. I pray for every woman, God, who's out there working, putting it to the grind, and believing that a better day is coming. Sister, I came to tell you that a better day is coming. I came to tell you that God's about to move in your life. I came to tell you that he's about to do something new. Come on, you better get ready. Get on your grind. I'll tell you what, it's time that you look forward and stop looking backwards. Oh, come on now. I'm talking to somebody who's been looking back so long, they don't know what forward look like. But today I came to tell you that forward looks good. It doesn't look like you look. It looks better than you look because it's in you. You need to start looking like it look. Begin to declare it and claim it. I'm moving forward in this day. 
Better life is coming. Better things are coming. Better situation. And while I'm in this situation right now, while I'm on lockdown mode, I'm going to get it right. I'm going to get my mind together. I'm going to get my heart together. I'm going to get my situation together. While I'm in lockdown mode, I'm going to change up some stuff that I've been going through. While I'm on lockdown mode, folk going to know that I'm somebody different. I ain't going to call with all the mess. You can't call me with who's doing who and who's doing what. While I'm on lockdown more. My mind's right. My heart's getting thick. Why I'm on lockdown mode? You better watch out because when I get off lockdown mode, I'm going to be running through like, to, oh, come on now. Somebody better believe me. When I get out of this thing, you ain't going to know me no more. You're going to say, wait a minute, who is he? It's not because I'm going to be acting better. It's because God has made me better. Somebody ought to say he's talking to me. While I'm on lockdown mode, why God's dealing with me, why he's got me on this sabbatical, why he's got me on Oh, oh, sucky, sucky now. Somebody ought to say he's talking to me. Wow, God's got me on lockdown mode. I tell you what, we getting ready. Oh, Roki, I'm outside. We getting ready to get out of here. But I pray right now that you receive something today. If you don't ever see me again, remember I said that this is only the beginning of what God's about to do. You got to see through the storm to see the sun. You can't see the sun while you're in the storm because you don't know the storm maker. If you know the storm maker while you're in the storm, it doesn't matter. Don't matter that it looks gloomy. Doesn't matter that it's raining. Don't matter that, oh, come on now, that it ain't got today. But if you watch me tomorrow, if you see me tomorrow, you better be praising him with me because God got something great for you and for me. I'm Pastor James Funches. Amen. A blessed old tabernacle. Where the spirit of God is, where the, we are the church that love everybody. That is our theme. We're in South Boston. We're in a place where they never thought we would be, but we are there. Amen. And I am here today to declare it. It's not by accident. It was by purpose. The man of God decided to come out and make sure that I would give this word to you today. So God bless you. May you stay strong. May you be diligent. May you be on fire. May you run. Amen. Oh, Kiarasa. May this message get you so deep, so hot that you run it. You be ooh, shouting right where you are. Amen. I don't need no organ. Oh, come on now. May God bless you right now. May the Holy Ghost drop on you right now. May the Spirit of God abide in you right now. Okay, oh, when you think of his goodness and all that he's done for you, may you just get that glad, glad. May you stop. Oh, somebody ought to think you crazy in your house right now. You all oh, they ought to say, what you doing up in there? You ought to say, I'm getting my praise on. Hallelujah. Because this is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that I have made, and I shall rejoice and be glad in. Somebody ought to get the glad glads. Somebody give me a thumbs up. Somebody give me a wave. Somebody give me a shout. Somebody give me a hallelujah. Somebody give me an amen. Come on now. This is the day that God woke you up personally and called you by name. You were like Lazarus in the grave. Amen. He said, move the stone away from your life this morning. And he called you by name. I don't know what your name. J oh, James, Tommy, Susie, Margaret, oh, Savannah, Oroki, oh, my son. Brenda, ha, 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 Bernice, God called you by name this morning. He's about to do something great. Somebody ought to say he called me by name. John, oh, Pete, ha, 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 glory to God. Call me by name. Francis, ha, call me by name. Ha, 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 call me by name. Ha, Suela, call me by name. Fran, oh, okay, I'm Hey, yeah, yeah, Francisco, call me by name. Call me by name. He called Call me by name this morning. Call me by name. Hey, glorious son. If he hadn't called you by name, he called you to run this morning. He called you to run this afternoon. He called you to praise him this afternoon. He called you to somebody would say, what has God done in my life? When they think, I, I got, they think I'm a crazy man right now. You ought to say, oh, come on now. You ought to go down the shopping store waving your hand because you got food to eat. Yo, don't kill myself. You 
got a roof over your head. You got clothes on your back. He called you by name. Somebody else say, he's calling me by name. Hallelujah, Jesus. It's like that song Hezekiah said, he's calling my name. Amen. And regardless of what he looked like, he's calling my name. God's calling your name today. God's going, oh, okay, I saw. I, I'm telling you that God is calling your name today. I don't know who you are, but God is calling your name today. God's preparing something greater for you than you ever knew. Hey, you're going to get back on pastor and you're going to say, God, that day that you went there and did that program in Blackstone, God called my name. Have my blessing in store. And the favor ain't fair. Come, come on now. When God starts blessing, folks start getting mad. You ought to say, that's all right. God's got you. If God will bless you, he'll bless me. Holy favor ain't fair. God's calling my name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. I, I just want to say, I, this song I wrote, I want to be like you. I want to be like you. I want to be holy. I want to be holy so I can be like you, Lord. So I can be like you, Lord, just like you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You can be just like him. You can be just like him. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let him in. Let him in, let him in, let him in, let him in. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. When you're up, let him in. When you're down, let him in. When you're bow, let him in, let him in. Oh, come on back. Let him in, let him in, let him in, let him in, let him in. When you're up, let him in. When you're down, let him in. When you're Bow, let him in, let him in. Oh, let him in, let him in, let him in, let him in, let him in. in. When I wrote that song, I wrote it like a benediction song. I see that. Hallelujah, yeah. Jesus. Amen. We down here in Blackstone with my brother in the ministry. Evangelist Pastor James L. Funches, pastor of the Blessed Hope Church in South Boston. And I'm telling you, if you want to get your shout on, if you want to get your stomp on, if you want the Holy Ghost to move in your life, huh. the Spirit to touch you and you be blessed, sure. uh, you should find your way down there. I mean, you come out to Framingham in the morning, and then you can go out to South Boston in the afternoon. How come many times now. have we done that? Come on now. <laughs> preach in Framingham. <laughs> then go down and preach in South Boston. Did you preach in Framingham? Come, come and preach. preach in South Boston. Yeah, come on now. So I just want to say thank you. This is I am Pastor Dan Walker. Walker from New Bethel Baptist Church in Framingham, and this has been Gospel Time Live, part two, with our brother and friend, Pastor James L. Funches. Got a, a, a quick, and I mean quick, closing word for the people. <laughs> Let him in. God loves you. I love you. Stay safe. Be strong. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.